thousands of foreign students studying in Ukraine are now returning home. Their journey was difficult, but made even harder, some students from Africa and Asia say, by poor treatment. Students posting on social media say they were pulled from trains and pushed to the back of long lines. Reuters has been unable to confirm these reports. Nigerian medical student Oduala Adeboale says Ukrainian soldiers pointed guns at him and his friends while they were trying to flee by train. Adeboale left his belongings behind but is now in Nigeria. <laughs> it's only document and system that we, is with us here and phones. It was when we get to Romania, we have to buy some things and even some people have to buy many things. You know. Things are lost at the departure of this war. Many things are not carried. Ukraine's National Police and State Border Service did not immediately respond to requests for comment on the allegations. The government has now set up a helpline for African and Asian students looking to escape Ukraine. From Nigeria, Gabriela Duda from the Foreign Ministry has been coordinating the returnees. We are expecting three other flights later today. Two from Poland and one from Budapest. So we are expecting that at the end of today, we will have brought in close to 1,000 again, apart from the 415 that had just come in this morning. One student says the ordeal has taught her at least one lesson. It's like your life, even though you have to start from the beginning, it doesn't matter your life, and that's all I care about.